This is John Daly from the EP Boulevard Pawn Shop in Memphis. And uh, today's video, we're going to talk about uh, Sid Tepper and an amazing find from an Elvis acetate. So Sid Tepper was the uh, songwriter. He collaborated heavily with uh, Roy C. Bennett. And uh, there was a total of 43 Elvis songs uh, that Bennett and Tepper uh, had for Elvis. Mostly it was uh, the, the movie music. Uh, there were songs, Lonesome Cowboy, G.I. Blues, Shopping Around, Hawaiian Sunset, Beach Boy Blues, Walls Have Ears, Take Me to the Fair, Mexico, Western Union, The Lady Loves Me, Puppet on a String, Confidence Mine, Stay Away. These are just some of them. Uh, he basically had written uh, quite a few songs spanning from Elvis's film of Loving You uh, all the way through to Stay Away Joe. So what you're looking at here is the listening demos that came directly from Sid Tepper's estate. So when they wrote a song, there would be a, a demo, it would be pitched to Elvis. These are the ones, This these records are actually what Elvis had in his hand uh, to listen to the song to see if that was actually going to be something. So we have um, Beginner's Luck. It's a Wonderful World. It's from Roustabout. This is Frankie and Johnny. Wheels on My Heels. This is another one from uh, Roustabout. A Dog's Life. Paradise Wine Style. Song of the Shrimp. Girls, Girls, Girls. Petunia, the gardener's daughter from Frankie and Johnny. Kismet, Harem Scarum. Once is Enough from Kissing Cousins. Dayton, this is also from Paradise Wine Style. Western Union. Confidence. And Smoky Mountain Boy, which is really fun because this one says it was originally written for Double Trouble. Uh, not accepted for the movie, and so that was ultimately used in uh, Kissing Cousins. So these were the, like I said, the, the listening acetates for uh, Elvis to hear the song to see if it was something that he actually wanted to, to release, record, and then have put into the, um, into the movie. When I got these, these came from a gentleman who uh, knew Sid Tepper, was friends with Sid, and um, Sid had these his entire life, and um, then a customer of mine ended up with them, and I ended up, I bought them. The one that is really crazy, though, is this one right here. Viva Las Vegas. Now, this is not the Viva Las Vegas that you know. This Viva Las Vegas is the Sid Tipper version. The one that was used in the film was another songwriter, not Sid's version. This is a completely new song. It is not the it is not the Viva Las Vegas that was commercially released. The question I have for RCA, and I've reached out to them, I've never heard back. When Elvis did Roustabout, he did the Otis Blackwell, I'm a Roustabout, which was found years later and put on the Second to None CD. So he recorded two versions of Roustabout, Roustabout and I'm a Roustabout. So my question to RCA is, did Elvis also record this version of Viva Las Vegas, which is a whole completely brand new song? Now, what I'm going to do is I will put a snippet of this up on the Facebook group, the EP Boulevard Pawn Shop Facebook group, so you can actually hear a snippet of what this actually sounds like to know that this is not, th this one is more of a Rat Pack feel to me, like more of a Dean Martin type song. Um, so we won't do it on the video, but it will be available on Facebook. So RCA, somewhere, is it possible that Elvis recorded Sid Tepper's Viva Las Vegas? I hope you enjoyed the uh, video today. These are for sale. So if you have any interest in owning one of Elvis's uh, listening acetates from the Sid Tepper estate, uh, simply reach out to us, the EP Boulevard Pawn Shop uh, on Facebook, the Elvis Pawn Shop at gmail.com. The shop's number is 901-949-1977. Thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe.